Mary Cover Jones and Joseph Wolpe were two early behaviorists, more specifically behavior therapists. This is a picture that you'll see in most textbooks of Mary Cover Jones, pretty standard headshot. She worked with Watson early on, and she is considered especially by Joseph Wolpe to be the mother of behavior therapy. She created what was known as desensitization therapy, which was used to cure phobias, and a patient might be or may be desensitized through a repeated introduction of a series of stimuli that approximate the phobia, which is to say closer and closer to the phobic stimulus. For her, though, there was no connection to anxiety or anxiety, hier anxiety hierarchies, as there were with Wolpe, so hers was just simply closer and closer and closer to the phobic stimulus. And she's most well known for working with Peter, a three-year-old, and his fear of rabbits and desensitizing him to the fear of rabbits. This is Joseph Wolpe, a lesser known uh, in an introductory sense. Uh, you won't find him in many uh, intro books. But he was an earlier Freud follower. He saw that it wasn't working scientifically. There wasn't research to back up Freud's ideas. And so he took Cover Jones's work and added to it and created what he called systematic desensitization by adding an anxiety hierarchy, tough to say, uh, a list from the patient of things that um, create anxiety with them and different levels of anxiety. And so he used that in order to help use uh, as a gauge to reduce the anxiety that a, a patient was uh, experiencing. He also used an idea called reciprocal inhi inhibition, and an where anxiety is being inhibited or reduced by a feeling or response that is not compatible with the feeling of anxiety. And so within the context of that, he used assertiveness training to combat anxiety. So if a person was being assertive, they could not also feel anxiety at the same time. 